This is a story. The story of how the oldest rivalry in all of professional football came to be. The story of the Acme Packers and Decatur Staley's. How we doing? It all began with two young trailblazers, fresh out of college, determined to make a name for themselves in the business world. They had the same passion, football, but no professional league in which to play. So they went to work. Until one fateful day, everything changed. Lambo. Alice. In my, my office. office. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> These guys were the original ringers. George Hallis had been a huge sports star, playing football and baseball at the University of Illinois. Curly Lambeau played football at Notre Dame under an icon named Rockney. The idea was that Lambeau and Hallis would play for and coach their team. Good choices, wouldn't you say? These guys got right to work. Lambeau, he put an ad in the papers promising players a chance to sock someone in the face and not get thrown in jail. Sounds reasonable. And Hallis, he wanted to run more than just a company team himself, so he bought the club from his boss for $100, moved them to Chicago, and renamed them the Bears. No surprise, from the very start, both of their teams dominated their company legs, but still needed better competition, and they found it. From the Packers and Bears' very first meeting, a tone that would endure for generations was set immediately. Over the next hundred years, they became the NFL's longest running rivalry, long after Curly and Papa Bear stepped aside. From the Gursky to Butkus to Ditka, to Sweetness and Singletary, to Lombardi, Horn, and Star, on the frozen country, 55 Hall of Famers, 21 championships, two franchises bonded together in the NFL's longest continuing saga. It was nearly a century ago that Curly Lambeau and George Hallis signed the contracts that made them official members of what would become the National Football League. Now, tonight, for the 195th time, one of the greatest football stories ever told. Good luck. You, you're gonna need it. Continues.